Good morning, Saints. It's Pastor Amin Ron McCarthy from Greater Zion CME Church of Ripley, Tennessee. This morning, I want to first just soak in God. Just want to soak in what all he has done for us. Give a moment of silence for those who have been lost to the fight of coronavirus, for those who have been killed in police brutality, racial injustice across the world, and for those who have died at our own hands. So many have died just yesterday from our own hands. And so many will probably die today and tomorrow if we don't get God in our lives. And so I want to take this time to just give a moment of silence to those who we have lost. A moment of silence that God will take our children, mold them, take the hate out of their heart, and give them love. So I want to take this moment of silence with me, please. Thank you, Lord. Great. Oh, thank you, God. Your mercy endures forever. God, in the name of Jesus Christ, we ask that you protect this house protect your body that you that we say we love you lord but look at what we're doing to each other look at the untruths and the lies that we are spreading about you covetousness and envy and jealousy raging all over this world lord bring us back to bible Help us get back to Bible, Lord. Give up all of the stuff that we take so advantage of, we, the material things that we work so hard for, Lord. We forget that you are the one for us. You are the reason that we exist. Thank you, Lord, for lifting me up this morning, waking me up this morning seeing my wife's face, hearing my children breathe next to me, Lord. That is what we take advantage of or for granted of. Thank you for knowing that my house is cool. The doors are locked and even if they weren't un were locked, you kept us from all hurt, harm, evil and danger last night. Yes, it's hot outside, Lord, but thank you for the heat. We thank you for the sun. We thank you for life that you give this world, Lord. Such a beautiful creation. Help us to be more diligent with your creation. Keep it clean. Respect nature. And you said we would rule over the world as long as we have you first. Lord, as we embark on the sermon today, we ask that you give me a word for your people. Lord, I don't know who will hear this. Nobody's here in the house because of coronavirus, but somebody will hear it. And whoever it is that needs this word, even myself, will get it. Lord, we pray for those in this church house that are sick. Touch them, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Touch them and heal them and give them peace and happiness. And Lord, if we don't get healed, you have vowed to be in the sickness with us. You have vowed to be in the storm with us. You have vowed to be in the midst of the mess, giving us peace, grace, and mercy. Fall fresh on me this morning, Lord. 
Forgive me for my sins, Lord, and my, a thought, word, and deed that I've done so many times, day after day, night after night. But you are God. That you cleanse my heart, my mind, my slate. Thank you for the baptism. Thank you for the, the repentance minded that you have given me. I love you, Lord. If you don't do another thing for us, we love you, Lord. And we thank you. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. And we say amen. Amen. And amen. Lord, as we embark on the sermon today, the word of God is the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. And I vow to tell it. Coming out of 1 Corinthians chapter 16, God's word is love and the truth, nothing but the truth, the whole truth. And I will speak it. Even if it hurts me, I'll speak it. Because the Bible has been called a book of pain. Because it causes you to realize how far you are from the word and the will of God. But through God and through his grace, from his son Jesus Christ, we will get back to Bible. The motto for Greater Zion CME Church is get back to Bible. So many say Bible is made up, but no man would write a book that condemns himself. That makes no sense. The word is inspired by God. And if you have a personal relationship with Christ and with Christ, you will. See all the meaning that you need to see. All the metaphors and similes and the, 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 the ideas in the word of God. Speak truth for your life. For your life. If you have a relationship. God has to be an inside thing for you. Anybody can read a word and read a book. And make it think and say whatever it is they want you to think. But only those with a personal relationship will know the truth. Come on in, great design. Come on in and fellowship with us. Through spirit and in truth. See you soon.